हेलो एवरी वन सो आई एम अगेन हेयर फॉर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट शॉर्ट वीडियो आई हैव बीन गेटिंग डिमांड्स रिगार्डिंग सी एन एस एग्जामिनेशन सो आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू मेक स्मॉल वीडियोज ऑफ सी एन एस एग्जामिनेशन दैट वुड प्रूव यूजफुल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी एग्जामिन फॉर टोन नॉट टोन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जामिनेशन इन सी एन एस विच कम्स अंडर मोटर सिस्टम एग्जामिनेशन it can give clue to a number of diseases and number of locations of the disease so let us see how tone is checked now what is tone tone is nothing it is simply defined as the resistance to passive stretch passive stretch of muscle so to check for the tone we actually should uh, counsel the patient properly but remember if we say while checking the tone that you keep your arms relaxed that would make the patient conscious and on the contrary of getting a smooth tone you will get maybe a voluntarily rigid tone because the patient is trying to cooperate with you and trying to make his limb smooth so you can ask the patient to do a reverse counting from 100 99 98 so that he is busy counting that and you can now check the tone for today's lecture we have one of our uh, junior doctors dr harshit who will be volunteering volunteering for this video so tone is checked in the upper limb tone is checked in the lower limb for the upper limb you can just be very casual with the patient try to shake hand with the patient keeping one hand at the elbow and pronate and supinate the hand that will give you an idea whether the tone is increased or not similarly you can just flex and extend the wrist so that you can check whether the tone is uh, increased or not similarly you can flex and extend the uh, elbow to see whether it is uh, hypertonia or not similarly you can just check the tone at the uh, shoulder joint this was regarding the upper limb when we try to check for tone at the lower limb you ask the patient to lie down so jao you ask the patient to lie down you can just hold the toes and rotate the leg like this so that you know while rotating the leg whether there is hypertonia or not you can check the tone at the ankle by dorsiflexion and plantar flexion of the ankle joint you can just support the knee holding one hand at the at the ankle and just check what is the tone at the hip joint one important thing that we do while checking tone in the lower limb is to grasp the knee from the bottom and give a upward jerk like this give an upward jerk like this so what i noticed this is a normal tone because when i gave a jerk to the knee the ankle slowly came up had it been a case of hypertonia it would have been a football kick like if i uh, give a gave a jerk to the knee this ankle would have gone in there like this and it would have given a jerk like this so that clearly indicates that the patient has a spasticity similarly if the patient is flaccid if there is hypotonia this heel will not get off the bed if i give a jerk at the knee joint this heel will remain touched to the bed so that indicates that there is no hypotonia rather it's a flaccid tone so this helps in in uh, detecting whether the patient has a hypotonia or the patient has a flaccid or hypotonia now what is spasticity what is rigidity we should remember there are some dis differences between spasticity and rigidity spasticity is commonly seen with lesions of the pyramidal tract whereas rigidity is seen <coughs> in cases of extra pyramidal lesions spasticity will be velocity dependent rigidity will not be velocity dependent since spasticity occurs due to involvement of the corticospinal tract or the pyramidal tract you can have an absent abdominal reflex whereas in rigidity which is because of extra pyramidal involvement there will be no loss of the uh, of the abdominal reflex spasticity will be associated with a positive uh, babinski sign that is an extensor plantar rigidity will not be associated with extensor plantar similarly uh, spasticity is commonly in, commonly involve the anti gravity muscles like like in, if we consider the upper limb the biceps will be involved more there are few types of rigidity also which is called as a lead pipe rigidity which is called as the cogwheel rigidity in lead pipe rigidity which is commonly seen in patients of parkinsonism in patients of basal ganglia neoplasm if you try to check the tone there will be hypotonia hypertonia throughout the range of motion as if you are trying to bend a lead pipe which is very hard in cogwheel rigidity which is commonly seen again in parkinsonism and cases of carbon monoxide poisoning 
when you try to check for the hypertonia there will be intermittent periods of loss of hypertonia where you can flex with increased tone but intermittently the resistance is lost that is called as the cogwheel type of rigidity one thing is gegenhalten gegenhalten is when you are trying to check the hypertonia you will feel as if the patient is giving voluntary resistance to your movement that is commonly seen with bilateral frontal lobe lesions or can be seen in cv stroke where your uh, your cortico uh, spinal tracts or pyramidal tracts are involved that is called as gegenhalten one last term which can be associated with hypertonia is myotonia myotonia is what when we ask the patient to grab my finger हाथ को पकड़ो ग्रिप करो एंड द पेशेंट विल होल्ड द फिंगर टाइटली बट वेन आई टेल द पेशेंट टू लीव इट देर विल बी अ डिलेड रिलैक्सेशन मीन्स द पेशेंट विल नॉट बी एबल टू लीव द और रिलैक्स द हैंड प्रॉपरली एंड माई ग्रिप विल बी सस्टेन्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज मायोटोनिया और दैट इज कॉमनली सीन इन मायोटोनिक डिस्ट्रोफी और पैरा मायोटोनिया कंजेनाइटा कॉमन एरियाज वेर यू कैन हैव दिस मायोटोनिया दैट इज डिलेड डिलेड रिलैक्सेशन is face and the arm i have explained the hand that the patient will not be able to uh, relax the hand and my fingers will not not be relieved similarly if it occurs in the in the face it gives a appearance of a transverse smile so uh, these are the things and this is the uh, way where you should examine tone of a patient when you are given a project of motor system examination in cns so this was a very important topic that i uh, try to take a, a bit faster it is a small topic but yet it is very important so i guess tone should not be a difficulty for you all henceforth thank you for your patient watching